What Let's are... check the items you will require for your job at K9. Gun. Turn. Check. Love ya. Snack. Oh. Check. Key. Key. Check. Camera. Check. Yep. Great. What's, what's, what is it? <laughs> oh no! Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, and Welcome to you, Gigachu. Hi, how are you doing today? Yeah, oh, no way! You're into the Walton Files? You want to react to more Walton Files? You're into the idea of theorizing about this game and so we should watch all the videos in order to unearth all the secret lore that's contained within? What a great man. Gigachu, ladies and gentlemen, just full of amazing programming ideas for this channel. Well done. I would high-five you if you had appendages that were not attached to your body. So, boom, right there. Boom. In, in absence of uh, Gigachu's appendages. Matt, sounds like a good idea? I think so. Yeah? Yeah, I would say so. It, it seems like people were intrigued after the first one. I was intrigued I after sure the first one. I sure was intrigued. Right? I'm into it. Does Gigachu, does or Pipachu in general, have a sound that he makes? Uh, yes. Okay. Do we have, have, have it? Have you not heard it? No. But I'm like, I want to put yeah. it in post from where he was talking. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're going to add it in post? I think so. I mean, usually Pipachu goes like, peep 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 So does, how does Gigachu sound? I mean, you can imagine. <laughs> you can imagine. I think we should see it. The what audience you, would like to see it. What do you think? I think I think Gigachu goes, hey, I'm Gigachu. I actually obtained the ability to speak in a human voice. I also sound like a bit of an aging smoker, but that's fine. It's okay. <laughs> He's cute. He's got a cute, cuddly voice and personality. Aren't in that right, Gigachu? Hey, everyone, it's me, Gigachu. Welcome to another episode of GT Live. He sounds like he smokes a pack a day. And, like, yeah, a it's, it's a hard life for him, man. You know? He... It's not. He just sits here. Whoa. 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 A lot. You stand there. You don't see me complaining about you standing there. I push buttons and talk. You know what? And Gigachu pushes buttons in his own way. Okay? He sure does. I, I push buttons sure frequently does. on the internet. <laughs> that is that is this channel's nickname. Pushing buttons. Isn't that right, Gigachu? Yeah, that's right, Matthew. See? I, I, I don't know. I guess if Gigachu had a voice, it would be like, Giga, 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 Gigachu. No, I don't like that. I Let me... It. Here. I thought it was good. Did you like it? Did you like Gigachu? There. Let me know. Make a video. Send me videos related to Gigachu's voice. Put them on the subreddit. I don't know. Put them, put them on the subreddit. Tweet them at me, MattPatGT. I will watch them. Maybe we can react to Gigachu voice videos. I think that's a great idea. If we get enough Gigachu voice videos, we'll react to Gigachu voice. Help us determine Gigachu's voice, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there it is. But as Gigachu so rightly acknowledged at the beginning of this uh, not live stream, a lot of you enjoyed our coverage of part one of the Walton Files, which, uh, in case you didn't see it, is a fan-created kind of like FNAF-inspired story uh, about a, a defunct pizzeria or a defunct restaurant with animatronic characters where horrific things have happened, mysterious things have happened. We're not 100% sure what the relationship is to everything, but you can sure bet that there's a lot of secret lore and clues and reversed audio and mysterious and creepy messages in here that we're going to piece it together. Um, after looking into it a little bit more, uh, I didn't dig too, too deep yet, but I have a feeling that I want to do a whole film theory on this series, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I, I love doing YouTube creepypasta stories like Dad Feels and stuff like that, so... I'm excited to do our, in absence of the FNAF movie, I'm excited that, you know, we can cover this on film theory. This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it, and it's a really well put together narrative from what I'm seeing so far. So I'm excited to, to uh, you know, put the pieces in place for you, for all of us to enjoy. Uh, but before we do that, we have to finish watching it all. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you today, like, part two of our coverage of The Walton Files. Uh, where we're going to watch, actually, Walton Files 2, as well as maybe some of the other bits around it, um, which we'll get to depending on how long this takes. You ready, Gigachu? Giga, giga! You ready, Matt? Ready. 
Is that what, what your voice sounds? What's what's Matt? It should be like no, Matt, Matt, Matt. Okay, I didn't like that. What? what I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. That's what the audience demanded. Matt, 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 Matt. Sound to you? Is that Matt, 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 Matt? Here, give give me your give me your canonical Matt voice. Um, I don't. Well, I guess this is it, and I'm ready. Okay, then. What? Give me your Pokemon Matt voice. I don't do voices. Oh. Fine. Fair enough. All right. Here's Walton Files 2 Relocate Project. Here we go. And uh, we made sure we turned on the captions. One, because uh, it seemed like there were, was good information hidden in them. For instance, the fact that this is tape number one created in 7-2-1978. Okay. So as we're piecing together the timeline, we'll make note that this is 1978. So again, well before the 80s in which all the scary stuff happened. So this was the original murder animatronic restaurant. All those other posers get out the way. It's also interesting that this is tape number one. Uh, so this is presumably where the story begins. Even though we're relocating already. So that's just something to call out. Oh, and here you go. Accompanied by Cyber Fun Tech, 1970 blank. But, but because of the closed captions, we know it's actually a really smart move to, to hide details in the closed captions because you can put things that don't appear in the video in the closed captions. So if you're ever doing a narrative of your own, just know that not only are you like brightening images and hiding stuff in source code or in key tags or descriptions, you can also pull in just like the closed captioning, which is another underappreciated place to like hide stuff, which is cool. You want to throw that bad boy in full screen? <laughs> Yeah, I can do that. Oh, that was default. Yeah. That was blocked. There you go. <coughs> I threw that bad boy in full screen for you. You got no problem. <laughs> okay, oh, here we go. It seems like we've jumped ahead of it. A company by CyberFun. Hello, BSI members and employees, and welcome to the tape that will change the future of the Where Bond. The closed captions. The closed captions disappeared. They are still on. It just stopped talking to us. Okay, cool. That's fine. So, closed captions. Uh, useful when they are on and working. Sometimes they're neither of those things. <laughs> Take everything that I just said, rewind it back a couple steps, and ignore all of it. Just, I'm sorry that I wasted your life for a minute diatribe about why closed captions are important. Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles Company for the better. Okay, That's so they right. rebranded. After four long years of legal paperwork, Oof. we finally decided to Wolf. use our backup plan. Which that that legal paperwork stack looks like my email inbox every morning. <laughs> that is what I am ignoring right now in order to record this video for you guys. So it's a lot more fun, let me tell you. Um, okay, so this uh, obviously more secret uh, lore clues here. So we've got Bonds Burgers, uh, which was kind of where uh, Walton Files 1 was, and that was kind of the first like introduction to this series, which seems like it's coming much later in 94. We've got Storage K9, which was 75, so that's where the animatronics are being stored uh, in like the jungles or whatever, and now we have the Relocate Project, which is the one that we're watching right now. Uh, Felix, Felix, Jack, so those were the co-founders, but if I remember right, Jack was the one who went missing? And then over here we got anytime th th you're pulling a pet scop here. This is this is stressing me out. These these black boxes. That was what pet scop did all the time was hide like the important stuff under the black boxes. That stresses me out. To me, that's almost the scariest part of these is like the the censorship of information is very unsettling to me. So obviously one of the mysteries we'll have to figure out is like what's over there. Which we created after the tragic closure of Bonds Burgers back on July twentieth, nineteen seventy four. Okay, Ladies so Bonds, so, so Bonds Bur- Closure of Bonds Burgers Oh, it's 74. July 20th, 1974. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm like, 94 seems really late for where this story was taking place. Okay, 74. See? Th thank you, audio. Four. Ladies and now present to you the Relocate Project. All right. So you got to rebrand, man. But before we go into it. details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. Hey, glad to be here. company greeting out of the way. Let's start analyzing the Relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. Yeah, let, let's see what's happened, As please. many of you might have known from previous dates, our beloved entertainers were safely- Wait a minute! Is that purple guy? Purple delivery guy? Oh man, with green eyes no less. 
It's connected universe. It's all there. These are the animatronics that were repurposed from Freddy's. Uh, Bunny Smile Shipping Service, 1975. What's that yellow text say? Can we make out what that says? Ooh, there's some spooky stuff coming down the line, isn't there? I love... Ah, oh, 480p is the best it gets. Awesome. It says, uh, a company by Cyberfun Tech. Okay, thanks. Uh, oh, and we got the clown. Okay. All the bad guys always wear purple. It always, it's the go-to color. Secured in St. Juana storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. Okay. Oh, that flat tire. They're not driving on that. Wait, what was different about that one? First off, I gotta call out the scariest thing so far is that flat tire that that delivery truck is trying to drive on. You ain't getting anywhere with that, man. You're just driving on the axle. Gotta get that repaired. You're gonna cause some permanent brake damage or alignment issues. You don't want that. Okay, so this freaked out. Oh, because it's like... Death? Death? Is that you? Hello, Death. You, drive, you driving that truck? You entered the shipping service now? What is it? Are you a meathead mover now? Brought to you by Death. Later on, a good amount of business opportunities appear, such as books, merch, animated movies. We oh even man, gotta, gotta cash in on that merch. Uh, oh, interesting. So there's a VHS on the bottom that says Disappearance of Jack Walton. So already there's like, you know, that Hallmark channel's cashing in on the, the easy made-for-TV movie of the disappearance of this guy. Uh, fourth of, why Fourth of July matters? <laughs> Brought to you by the Chica equivalent. Uh, the video game, and then the bunny company. got a TV show. That's when Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restore and reprogram the robots of... Bo oh, this is a picture that we saw before. Um, so in the last episode, we had... So again, this is... Welcome to MatPat. Uh, this is... How, welcome to my brain and how it works when I'm doing these theories. Uh, I'm just... Instead of writing notes and like, you know, taking screenshots and stuff, I'm just talking it through in real time with you guys. But uh, as I'm watching these sorts of things, this is how the theory going process works. But this, I'm like, we've seen this before. And in Walton Files 1, we do, but it's both of them, right? So in the first episode, you saw the full picture of this, which was Felix and Jack. But now he's been cropped out of the image, which to me immediately says like, oh, there was a breakup of the relationship or, I mean... I know he went missing, but this feels like it's almost more personal in that case. Um, it also could just mean that, you know, the creator didn't feel like remaking an asset, which, respectable, I understand. But I have a feeling that this is probably uh, more indicative of their relationship at this point in the company's history. On burgers with the purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not-so-distant future. A pretty okay. smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bond's Burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. No so doubt. So let's really it up for Felix Craig. I love the train with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a spooky face. Oh, I didn't even know. I'm like, oh, it's a black screen. There's a spooky face. I thought the jump scare was actually this. Giant brain, but also a giant heart. <laughs> like that. No, oh, dude. Oh, that is terrifying. Uh, do we have image brightening software on this computer or no? Oh, that's so scary. See, this is the stuff that gets me. This is the scary stuff, the subtle stuff like this. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, and it just lingers on him too, great. Okay, tape number two. Ooh, wait, tape number two. Oh, get to experience this again. 81378. Okay, so this is number two. Facial expressions. Oh man, giving them faces. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is Banny. Create. Wow. So they're they're really. I I appreciate the fact that they're being really explicit about the timeline here, which shows that they've thought about it. Some other franchises, ah, maybe the timeline came a little bit later. So I appreciate the fact that like they're being very explicit about the dates. And so my challenge now, when I go back and inevitably write this theory, is going to have to. I mean, it's going to start and and. In theory crafting in general, I always tend to start with like what is the most concrete, solid pieces of physical evidence that exist. And here it would be what are the dates that we outright know that are told to us explicitly by this show. And let's put them together in order so we can start getting an idea. And then that's when like character motivations, events, things like that. That's when you have to start weaving those together. Um, this is cool. Yep, eyes work. Great. Perfect. 
Yep, mouth. Nice. The mouth is a pre relo Okay. The mouth is a pre relocate feature. Okay, so this is original. So this is telling us in the original animatronics, mouths could move great. However, it still requires checking since the reprogramming could have affected this feature. Okay. So this is kind of like in So this is kind of like in Five Nights at Freddy's the difference between FNAF 1 and FNAF 2 where in FNAF 2 uh, or in FNAF 1 they're like they used to be able to walk but now they we're not allowing them to walk around anymore. Here same thing. Certain features were present in the older versions, certain features are new now. All right. So this feature so blinking is new. It's a relocate project exclusive. Oh, now with the power to blink. Always clean the eye socket. A dirty eye could affect the blink feature. Okay. Yeah, pop it out. See, this is just asking for Walton Project VR. This is cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, looks like yep. Oh, fast. Sleepy. Looks like you're. <laughs> oh, annoyed board. <laughs> looks like you know. Looks like you're you're celebrating. Uh, you know, 420. It's fine. I get it. Surprised. This is this is, this is my surprised face. Yeah. Great. Wow, so shocked. This is his skeptical face. Oh, I'm looking for friends or customers. Oh, something spooky's gonna happen. What do we got? Music cut out. Alright, this is going on a bit long. Yep. Did you find a friend? You finding your friend? Am I your friend? I would like to be your friend. Actually, that's not true don't want that at all. This is terrifying. Oh, surprised! That's a surprised face. <laughs> what? What? Nope. Nope. That's my surprised face. Uh, clearly, the, the spirits of the dead children are speaking to us right now. Whoa. The sound, the sound is what gets me, man. The sound design and stuff like this is just, oh, I feel like the little, little goose, goose pimples. Do you call them goose pimples, Matt? No, they're, uh, oh, what are they? Goose bombs. I goose call them bombs. goose bombs. Yeah, goose pimples is gross. It's always weird to me. Because it's, it's a, like your whole body covered in I had a, I had a, I had a, like, I think it was my aunt who used to call them goose pimples. And I'm like, ugh. That's, uh, that's just, that sounds, I mean, that gives me goose pimples. Right. <laughs> there it is. Oh, okay. So are, is this? So because of the way the, the visuals of the series work, I don't know if this is the video game or if this is just like uh, recreating an event from the... Rabbit tries to find a way out of the cage, but it's unsuccessful. The rabbit keeps trying to find a way out. The rabbit trying to find a way out. The owner's attention. The mighty rabbit must get out. The mighty rabbit needs to get out. Okay. 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 Oh, hold up. Sorry. Let's see if we can get this frame by frame. Anytime. It might just be a glitch. Yeah, it might just be a glitch in their video. Um, watching. I, I mean, I give notes on videos so much, so much in my life at this point. Um, I'm like those flash in frames. You always got to look back and see like, was that intentional? Was it not? Uh, and in this case, it looks like it's just like a like, rabbit. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. Okay. The rabbit is starving. Wait, there was another flash in, which I'm again. I'm assuming it's probably just like another edit here. Yeah, I, I I'll probably go. Ah, uh, this one looks like it's so interesting. This one looks like it has a little bit of that tracking line up top. I don't know if you can see it, but like there's something here. Like I would probably go and there's some pixelated stuff in the background. Um, this is something I would definitely go back and brighten. Um, to and like adjust the exposure on to see if there's anything there because it does like if you look into the black you can see that it's not a straight black the whole time but there is pixelated stuff there uh, but that just might be like the the filter that was put on this unclear but again this is the sort of thing in theory crafting I would I would screenshot this take it into Photoshop crank it up see if there's anything interesting um, and my clue is that there's definitely something up there. Is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. Okay. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. Yep. The someone feed this. Is someone starving. get this rabbit. It's starving. 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 It just made Oh no, old footage rabbits. Please let them let them survive this clip. <laughs> 
one. I don't want any injured rabbits. No rabbits were harmed in the making of this reaction video. Except for this one, clearly. This, this rabbit who was caught in the restaurant against her will and starved to death? Question mark? So the concept of the starving rabbit is interesting because does... Oh, the rabbit's <laughs> Yeah, okay. So everything... Ooh, hey. Wow. Uh, missing something woods? Sarah Woods? Sarah Wood... Woodings? Weddings? Susan. Susan. All right, so this is another one. We'll, we'll, we'll adjust the brightness, but I see the date, 1974. So obviously a lot of this imagery, the way it's talking, is uh, Purple Rabbit here. Um, Banny? Banny? Danny the bunny uh, is obviously trapped in a cage or is, is perceived as being trapped in the cage, which is this restaurant. Um, the question is why and how? Like, is this Felix's doing? At this point, the animatronics are possessed and so they're trying to get out, I'm assuming. Um, interesting. And, and it seems like they're trying to draw a parallel between this character, Susan, and Banny. So... Again, like, who, who connect, what spirit or what human connects to what other animatronic or character? That seems to be the one-to-one -one here. Creepy. Creepy! Okay, okay, so now we're on a third tape. This one is 78. So these are all within kind of like a couple month window. They're all really close to each other, which is interesting. Oh yeah, the inside of an animatronic suit. Great. Look at that. Sophisticated technology. Oh, and there's the Bunny Farm video game, a must-play for kids of all ages. I would have asked for that for my birthday. So this is... Oh, no, the, okay, so there's Boozoo, right? I think his name was Boozoo, the magician who has a bunny coming out of the hat. We haven't seen anything of this small bunny. I don't know if we will or if that's an important character, but in this shot, we've seen a little bit of the clown. We've seen everyone else. This guy we haven't seen yet, so I don't know if that's important or not. This is fun. I like this. Welcome, welcome to, to, to Matt pontificating and theory crafting live. This is great. Technical support, 1978. That's one rockin' sheep. Welcome to technical support. Thanks, Shaw. Today we will focus on the area tour and orientation inside K9. The Bunny Smile Storage Facility. Okay, so we're revisiting K9. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always... Purple! Her, it's always purple. You can't. Never trust the purple person. Never. If if you know if a job offers you a purple uniform, you just say heck no and you walk out that door. In fact, don't even say anything. You just look them straight in the eye and you're like, "Are you serious right now?" And then you walk straight out that door. So I guess that means <laughs> I guess that means what if you're ever an employee at what got, Taco Bell or you gotta put on the grimace suit. Run away. Yeah, if you're, yeah, if, oh man, the Grimace suit is terrifying, period. I like Grimace. Gr oh, get out of here. Grimace is the least scary. No, ham Hamburglar's no, the least scary. No, least scary, because Hamburglar tells you straight up what he is. <laughs> yeah. Hamburglar's no. like, I'm He's, just here for the hamburgers. I'm breaking into your house and stealing whatever yeah, you have. Yeah, like, you know where you stand when you're dealing with the Hamburglar. With Grimace, like, what is he? You know, he's, he's, a, he, he's a giant cute. evil chicken nugget, right? I don't know. He's not a chicken nugget. I think he's a chicken nugget. Grimace is the giant Grimace purple mascot. Is a chicken nugget? I think question mark, question mark. That's a food theory. <laughs> it's a food. It is a food theory, isn't it? Damn it, it is. We did the M&M's cannibals. We're, it's, it's a food theory. We're going to look into what Grimace is. The, fr the fry people, the, they were old additions. Fry people. Yeah, they phased those out, but there were like little uh, characters that looked a little bit like um, sea urchins or pom-poms, and they were like the fry people. Ooh. Yeah, it was I don't like that. Un no, uncomfortable. There, there's a reason why some of these have been faded off to history. Anyway, any purple uniforms out there? No. So that means, I think, what, FedEx has purple uniforms? No. Taco Bell purple uniforms? No. Just no. I will not be either a victim or a murderer in your corporate schemes. Where the bunny smiles. I know what you're up to. Um, but most importantly, all of you must always, under any circumstance, use your BSIID card. Oh, okay. Bunny Smile Incorporated. Brian Stells. Okay, so we have another new person, and I work as facility caretaker. Okay. Once you have all the necessary equipment at hand, we are ready to go. I appreciate that this is 
a bit explicit about the lore. Like, they're telegraphing the clues to you really nicely. I appreciate that. Okay, storage facility K9 and Hello. Bob is in purple. I see you made it to the storage facility. I bet you Nailed must it. be very excited and nervous to start working here. Most, mostly nervous. But let's start I'm mostly things. nervous. Do you have all the necessary items for your job tasks? Okay. I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Okay. What Let's really? check the items you will require for your job at K9. Gun. Turn. Check. Love ya. Snack. Oh. Check. Key. Key. Check. Camera. Check. Yep. Great. What's, what's, what is it? <laughs> oh no! Severed human head. Check. Got him. Yeah. Do you have all your materials for this for this job? Great. Is this uh, Jack? Is that Jack's face from the last video? I think so. Right. Yeah. He's the he's, when the slumber party happened. Yeah. He right. He was like the random face. He's the random face on the missing poster, right? So this is I think this is still him. So Jack, make sure you make sure you have a copy of our corporate sponsor's severed head in your backpack. That's horrific. Just terrifying. Wow. It's pretty dark here. You <laughs> should turn on the light. Yes. Turn on the light. Okay. Turn on the light. Yep. Turn on the... I understand. A lot of times I struggle with that when I start a video game, too. It's important to keep track of <laughs> Controls which room are tough. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. Okay. This is the resting room. In this room, you can sit down, rest, talk with co-workers, you name it. Remember yep. to always treat this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. True. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Accurate. Everything stopped, and so it felt like there should that there was a change, but maybe not. You missed something. Wait, did I? What yeah. was it? Like a figure appeared. Did you see before it? Before the cut, yeah. Keep going. Oh, there. Oh, good eye. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Nice. I didn't see that. Huh. Interesting. Okay. It's the puppet. It's the marionette. Whatever this this game's equivalent of the puppet or marionette is. All right. This is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. Okay. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available in a Bond's Burgers restaurant. Okay, nothing to The to third door is used to hide. Oh, she's so sad. She's like, oh, I hate my job. This is the worst. Hashtag relatable there, Shaw. I don't hate my job, by the way. I just, I, in general, I, I relate to Shaw's world weariness sometimes. Just saying, I don't want anyone to get the wrong impression. I actually enjoy this very much. This is great. But also the face that she made was, um, spoke to my soul. Yep, that's definitely reversed audio. That's the, I, YouTube! You have all these settings and I can do playback speed. Where's reverse? We would be the only people on, on the platform to have a, re a fairly regular use of the reverse functionality. Make it happen, YouTube. It's the, the feature that everyone demands. Main storage area. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, yep. and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. Wow. You, you, move, you move fast there. Whoa, hey. You move fast there, Shaw. She disappeared. It did, nothing really seemed to change, did it? I love how I love how dense this video is. Like the the first one, obviously there was a lot of lore, there was a lot of scares and stuff. This one is just very dense with stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of stuff to pause, a lot of stuff to look for. Oh, gee, oh, it's just so maybe that was the jump scare that they were like leaning towards. Remember to avoid touching or shining lights at our robots unless you are a facility technician. Storage room. Now let's move on to the next room. Great. She's like, no, can't get through the door. Spooky poster. Oh, she said. Is that a uh, figure down in the bottom there? 
in the doorway? Was this here before when we were in this room? Uh, no. So here was the last time we were in this room, right? Yeah. And this time... Oh, hello. But right this time there's actually like a figure watching or standing there. This room already. Interesting. When she touched it, that's when she glitched out. So she touches whatever's down in the wall or down in the doorway and that causes the room to freak out. Okay. Okay, so that... Oh, hello. So this one had a... Okay, so this is our new... So this is Shaw. Now, so now we're learning the, the, the story of Shaw, right? So if Susan or whoever was on that missing poster was Banny, it seems like this, this, this person who's on that poster up in the upper left corner... Um, which is I, the fact that there's just random like old timey black and white photos appearing here and there is just freaking me out. Like it's that's unsettling to me. If you rewind it, uh, I think she says Sophie. Is when it Sophie? She glitches out. Like here. Yeah. Was there something? Oh no, that was just the tracking. Here, let's see. Sophie, where am I? Oh, I heard it, Sophie. Yeah. Okay. By the time the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. By the time she entered the backstage, the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. Instead, she found a rat. Okay, so, huh? So we have someone named Sophie, and we have this woman, who is old enough to be married. Right, because they're saying like her husband. I'm assuming that the, that VO is is referencing her, and there was a voice luring her around the restaurants because she's she's going to different areas. The voice told her to go here, but her husband wasn't there. This effect is great, by the way. the The teeth, I love Most this effect. Broken will fix you. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. Oof! Oof! <laughs> Ah, oh, gross. Super unsettling. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So whoever that new woman is, Sophie or whatever her name is, is the wife of someone, is brought to the back, is lured, literally lured into the back room, uh, clearly murdered or chopped up by either by a mur some other party or by the rabbit himself. And then classic, shove into the animatronic suit and now possesses Shaw. Um, and that's clearly Balloon Boy in the background. Uh, clearly. When she woke up, she looked beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look, look, she's a looker. All right. But on the inside. Oh, that's, so, that's a horrific way to say it. This is dark. It's fun. This is dark in a way that, like, FNAF can't. Okay, oh, here we go. This is who this person is. Ah, uh, missing. Shoot. This is one that we might have to brighten to. Next time we do this, next time we do one of these, we'll have uh, Photoshop installed on, on this computer specifically so we can just drag and drop these in. What do you think it is, Matt? You're closer to the... I've got it brightened on the screen. Uh, the name, I can't make out, but it is the same picture. Right. That was hanging in the office. Right. I was going to say, yeah, whoever this is. And there's also a date, I think, on there. Uh, but, yeah, we, we'll have to get some, like, photo editing software on here that we can, like, play around with this. Can Is there, like, a default program? No, I don't think so. Not on this computer. We'll do it. Well, uh, between this one and the next one, we'll have some photo editing stuff on here so we can just... Because I'd love to do this live again, like, with you, and so that way we can, like, mystery solve together. <laughs> Okay. Again, I love how explicit they're being with dates and stuff. The following footage was recorded during July 1978, across like three days, unknown date, on which three Bunny Smiles technicians volunteered to stay three days at the storage facility for the purpose of reprogramming the animatronics in order to execute the relocate project. Okay. Oh man, they're going to disappear or die or something. Classic. It's Blair Witch right up in this his house. Oh. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Employees left to right are... Oh, oh, wait, wait. 
employees are. Okay, Hillary B, Ashley P, and Kevin W. And I don't think we've seen any of these guys yet. Okay, Hillary, Ashley, Kevin. Three employees restoring the Bonds, Burgers, animatronics. Okay. Oh no, but um, the place itself was open during a short period of time, in which um, during a number of this is great. I love, I, again, yeah. I said this last time, I love the fact that they mix in this live action footage. I think it's such a cool aesthetic. Um, I think it's such a cool creative choice. near the restaurant about the place playing music during midnight, like two or three in the morning, along with the lights on, which was weird because back then the company didn't really worry about hiring night guards. But yeah, the place closed after people were put in during the screams of the adult woman inside the restaurant. Okay, adult woman. So this is sounds so like it's yeah, telling yeah. us more about Shaw. Some hours after that, the case was reported, residents decided to close the doors, probably because authorities needed to check the place or something. Um, what's weird about this is that the last day Bonds was open, they only let, like, one or two families in. Huh. And they mentioned later that the animatronics, like, the entertainers, were completely absent and the weird. closed. So this is, I mean, it's very explicit with uh, the lore here, which I appreciate. Me of the movie. The, uh, Censor! It's actually mature, mature. That? Mature, pay no attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, at this point, like, if you look at the this condition of Shaw right here, and you look at the condition of all these other animatronics, is it really worth the effort to keep them? Like, as a business, are you saving a lot of money by repurposing these animatronics from, like, the 70s? Or can you just, like, rebuild them from scratch? It's just, like, computer parts have gotten cheaper. Are you, are you really doing yourself any favors in this situation? I, I'm inclined to say no. What do you think, Matt? I, I like the aesthetic. It's retro. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah, you want, really you want to go to a restaurant with a, with a character? Hey, hey, little Timmy. Come on, we're going to go see Shaw the Bunny. It's retro. Yeah, this is retro. I think it's for an older crowd. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's like a, like a, like a grown-up arcade. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, this is the arcade after a bender. Like, Shaw's had a long night. Shaw's had a big night of party and she, she needs a rest. So I think that's, I think that's one of the nice things about Freddy's as an IP is it, it lends itself so seamlessly to whatever that food selection will be. You know it's coming though. I, I, I would expect if the movie does well, when the movie comes out, what, next year I'm assuming, that the restaurant is the next thing down the line right? Or our partnerships with theme parks or things like that. Um, anyway, we are currently at time. Uh, I actually spent more time analyzing this than I expected, so we didn't get through the whole thing. Um, but that's cool. We're going to wrap it here just because I got to go deal with that stack of uh, papers that you saw earlier. Um, but that's cool because between now and the next time we do this, uh, we'll install Photoshop specifically on this computer so we can do the photo processing stuff live and we can like unearth the secrets together, see the spooky faces. Maybe we'll go back, since we haven't finished this one, we'll go back and kind of pull some of those screenshots and, and look at those. Um, and then, yeah, and we'll keep going. Like I said, I am currently starting research for a film theory on this. I'm excited about it. I hope you are. This is a great, great series. I'm really enjoying it really jam-packed with clues and spooky easter eggs and stuff so we'll see where it goes from here friends but anyway thank you so much for watching thank you matt for putting up with me as always uh send me your gigachu voices because lord knows we don't want gigachu to sound like this hey everyone that wasn't a stream but it was a video a video for you thanks for watching thank you gigachu for signing us off we'll see you in the next one mm.